everyone, it's song and story time. Today I've got a rhyme for you and it might be a clue as to what it's about. Three bears. Daddy bear, mummy bear and baby bear. Our story today is Goldilocks and the Three Bears so I thought I'd um, tie in the theme um, with this rhyme. Uh, so we're going to do three different voices, a daddy bear voice, a mummy bear voice and a baby bear voice. Can you remember what the three bears have for their breakfast? Porridge, that's right. So it goes like this. Hey bear, daddy bear, what do you like for breakfast? Corn flakes, rice cakes, Weetabix or what? I like porridge. Yummy scrummy porridge. I like porridge in my great big pot. Hey there, mummy bear, what do you like for breakfast? Corn flakes, rice cakes, Weetabix or what? I like porridge. Yummy scrummy porridge. I like porridge in a middle sized pot. Hey there, baby bear, what do you like for breakfast? Corn flakes, rice cakes, Weetabix or what? I like porridge, yummy scrummy porridge. I like porridge in my teeny weeny pot. There we go. So I'll put my bears down there for now. And let's see what happens to Goldilocks and the three bears. Deep in the forest lived three bears. There was a big father bear, middle-sized mother bear, and tiny little baby bear. Father bear had a big voice. Mother bear had a middle-sized voice. And baby bear had a tiny little voice. You could only just hear it. Bright and early one morning, mother bear was busy making breakfast. We'll enjoy our porridge even more if we have a little walk first, she said. But while the bears were walking, so was someone else. It was a little girl called Goldilocks. She had golden hair and her cheeks were rosy. But little Goldilocks was rather nosy. When she saw the house with the door open wide, that naughty little girl walked right inside. She says, I smell porridge. Goldilocks was feeling peckish. There on the table she saw three bowls of porridge. So she picked up a spoon to have a taste. The first bowl of porridge was much too hot. Ooh. The second bowl was much too lumpy, Blech. but mm, the third little bowl was just right and suddenly it was absolutely empty. Feeling rather full and sleepy, Goldilocks looked for a chair. How many chairs do you think were standing there? One, two, the first chair was much too hard, the second chair was much too soft, but the third little chair was just right. For a baby bear, Goldilocks sat down and... Crash! She smashed the little chair. Ouch! she said. Goldilocks felt tired and cross after such a bruising bump. She quickly hurried up the stairs and peeked into the bedroom. There she saw a big bed, a middle-sized bed and a tiny little cosy bed. The first bed was much too hard. The second bed was much too soft. But mm, the third little bed was just right. Just right for a snooze. Meanwhile, on the forest track, the three bears were coming back. They noticed right away that things 
were wrong. Teddy Bear says, I smell trouble. Someone's been eating my porridge, growled Father Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, said Mother Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, squeaked Baby Bear. And they've eaten it all up. Someone's been sitting in my chair, growled Father Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said Mother Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair too, <laughs> sobbed Baby Bear. He was the saddest bear of all. There was nothing left of his little chair. Quietly on their fluffy paws, the bears crept slowly up the stairs. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, grunted Father Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, said Mother Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, squeaked Baby Bear. And she's still there. Baby Bear's tiny little voice woke Goldilocks. She opened one eye, then the other. Then she leapt out of bed ran out of the house and never went back. And what's more, after that, Goldilocks never had porridge for breakfast again. There we go. So that's a Ladybird first favourite tale. They're quite good versions. There's lots of different versions of this story. Um, there we go. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. So I hope you're well, stay safe and I'll see you very soon. Bye.